Hi, I'm Al. Welcome to another edition of Summit Racing Quick Flicks. Today, I'm going to be going over nitrous solenoids. So every once in a while we get a phone call with somebody saying their nitrous is not working on their car. And one of the first things we ask them is, have you checked your solenoid? So I'm here today to kind of go over a few basic tips on what to look for and how to make sure that your nitrous solenoid is operating properly. Now one of the things that I'm going to suggest you have with you is a multimeter and a standard wrench. Now the first step and the reason why I told you to grab a multimeter is you want to make sure that your nitrous solenoid is actually getting power. Uh, you are going to have to go through and make sure that you flick either your micro switch or your push button depend or your throttle position sensor depending on what type of nitrous setup you have that will trigger your nitrous solenoid to open. Now the way a nitrous solenoid works is really pretty basic. Uh, it operates off of an electromagnet that pulls up on a plunger to allow either fuel or nitrous oxide to flow through the base of the solenoid and into the intake charge of your engine. So with it being that simple of a device, it's really that simple to work on. Now when people usually uh, find that they have an issue with a nitrous solenoid, they go and they try to replace them. Now, they can be really expensive to replace, but many of the manufacturers offer rebuild kits which are up to half the cost of replacing a nitrous solenoid. So here's how you go through and rebuild a nitrous solenoid. And there's just a few basic parts. First step you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, shut off the power to your vehicle as well as shutting off it, both the fuel and the nitrous oxide going to your solenoids. Next, you're going to grab your adjustable wrench and you're going to just spin off the top nut, retaining nut, that holds on the electromagnet to the plunger. Go ahead and remove this base. Now, in, if you look down at the plunger system and the base, you'll see that there's two holes on the stem of the plunger here at the base there. Those are for a spanner that actually comes in your rebuild kit. Let's go ahead and open up the spanner here. You easily just slide the spanner right over the base and you can use your adjustable wrench to spin off the stem of your nitrous solenoid. Now once you have the stem spun off, be very careful. There's a, just a few small parts. In the base here, I have a, a black O-ring and I'll go ahead and I'll replace the O-ring with the O-ring that's in the kit. In the stem, I have a plunger and a spring and I want to put it back into the stem in that order from my rebuild kit. So I'm going to put my spring inside of this plunger and slide the plunger into the stem and then carefully put them back together. Now onto the nitrous oxide si side of things. Disassembly is very similar. Go ahead and pull off the electromagnet and I've already pre-loosened the stem here and on the nitrous oxide side, the stem has a larger spring and the plunger. It has a rubber gasket that you'll go ahead and replace. And then there's also a small filter on the inlet side of the nitrous oxide uh, going towards your bottle. You're going to want to make sure you go ahead and clean that out of any debris so that way your solenoid is not getting clogged up by any type of debris that may be in your nitrous oxide system. Reassembly is just same as disassembly but backwards. Go ahead. Again, you're going to want to use that spanner that came in the kit to tighten everything down. You do not want to use, uh, let's say, uh, any type of wrench on the stem itself because you could damage the stem. Go ahead and reassemble things. Place the nut on the top of the solenoid and you should be 
all set to go. You don't have to remove the base from your vehicle, but it does make it a little easier when you have a bench top to work on things. Now if you have any other questions about nitrous oxide systems, we have made a few videos on those. I encourage you to watch them. If you have any other questions that we haven't answered, please feel free to leave a question in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.